Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty Swirl. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I went from a 613 hair to this beautiful multi-dimensional blue. And the trick is I did it doing the water coloring or water dyeing technique. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, please make sure you stay tuned. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And while you're at it, click that like button, show your girls some love, and let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Today's hair is from Tanache Hair and they sent me um, 613 hair. This is what the packaging looks like. They did send me some flexi rods, lashes, a beauty sponge, and I have three bundles in a closure. My bundles are in 20 inches and I think my frontal was 18, I'm not sure. I will leave everything in the bottom bar below, but this is what the frontal looks like. Here is the beautiful hair. It's in the straight texture. So I love the way the frontal looks because it has all those dips in it. You, you guys know I love when it has that natural hairline. I just wanted you guys to see up close what it looks like. Very natural. I love it so much. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how I do the water coloring. I'm taking a big bowl, a steel bowl. It could be plastic, whatever you have. Some people use boiling hot water. I'm just taking the hot water that's in my faucet, the hottest that's on there, and I pour it into the bowl. About that much depending on, you know, how much water you want to do. I would say maybe about three or four cups. I'm not sure, but you, need, you probably need to eyeball it. So I'm going to be using a door dye, and this is in baby blue, and I put the whole container of that in there, and I'm stirring it around. After that, I take a little um, napkin and I stick it in there just to see what color comes up so that I will know what to expect when I put my bundles inside. And like I said the last time, when you put your bundles in, you want to put it in all the way because whatever it touches first is going to get the most pigmentation on it. It's going to suck up that dye. So try to put it in really quickly and soak it into that water. And I leave it in for about two to three minutes. You can leave it in longer if you like, but two to three minutes was good for me. You can keep checking the color to see if you like it. And I do suggest that you open up your bundles so it can get inside the, um, the track area a little bit better. Um, I didn't do it on the first bundle, but I will do it on the next bundles that I'm going to be doing. But I'm just showing you guys here how the color came out. It came out super quick. You can actually just dip it in and pull it out and it's going to have that color on it. <laughs> That's how good this is, you guys. And like I said, this is the new way that I'm going to be coloring my hair. It's super quick, super easy. I didn't even have to wear gloves. It didn't stain anything that I was putting in there. Of course, I did use a um, rubber spoon to... Um, you like stir it around a little bit and push it down and I'm showing you here that I left it in for two minutes and now I'm pulling it out and look at that color you guys beautiful I'm so in love with it I did put it back in just a little bit longer just to get that color all the way throughout there and I did open it up more just you know make sure everything is going to get evenly dispersed through there so after the two bundles I went and added a, a little bit more of that baby blue you can just eyeball it to see what color you want and I'm gonna finish up everything so right now I'm just gonna put my frontal in I was scared it was gonna you know bleach not bleach I was scared that it was gonna dye the lace but it did not dye the lace you guys that's the good thing about this you can put your whole lace in there and it's not gonna touch that lace part it's gonna it's only gonna dye the hair part which is phenomenal you guys phenomenal it's gonna save you so much time and worry and hassle yes God sent <laughs> Trust me, you try this out, you'll be thanking me. Do you see? That lace is not touched, but that hair is evenly dyed. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse all these out. I'm going to use some shampoo to shampoo the hair, and then I'm going to use a little bit of conditioner, and I'm going to go ahead and make my wig. All right, you guys, so I made the full unit, and right here I'm showing you guys, right before I pluck the hair, what it looks like on the top. I did go back in and do a little bit of darker dyeing on the um, root area because I didn't like how light it was. I like to have darker roots, so that's what I did. And this side I'm showing you after I have plucked it. 
and look at it. It looks so natural, so beautiful, you guys. So now it's time for me to go ahead and style this hair up. I'm going to go ahead and work on that hairline. As you can see there, look how beautiful that looks. So nice, so natural. So I'm taking my Got To Be spray and I'm going to brush it back just like so. And then I'm going to go in with my hot comb and just go ahead and comb it on back. You can comb it in whatever direction that you want your hair to go. I'm just combing it back for now. All right, so now that I've worked on the hairline, it's time to work on the rest of that hair, you guys. So right now I'm just showing you how the hair looks, how the coloring looks all throughout the hair, all the different dimensions. I just love it because it's not just one block of color. I like to have all those extra shades in there because it looks like a professional dye job. So when I did do the water coloring, I did you know, eyeball it to the different shades of baby blue. So. Now I went in and I flat ironed the hair. Look how beautiful and healthy this hair is. It's still very bouncy and shiny and it's just beautiful. I'm just loving this so much you guys. So now I'm going to be thinking about what hairstyle I'm going to do with this. I don't want to leave it straight. I want to put some kind of curls in it. So I went and I bought the waver from Golden Hot and I'm going to just throw those waves right into the hair. Nothing fancy. I'm just, you know, doing what I do. There's no particular way that I'm doing this. I'm just going as I see it. But I did notice that on the insides of those curls, I did pull some of the dye off for some reason. I don't know why that's happening as you guys can see there. So now I'm going to always be forced to wear this hair curly. I'm sure it would not look right straightened but this is what it looks like when it's done very very beautiful I love it so much look at those curls you guys so beautiful so now I'm just playing around with it making everything flow the way that I want it to flow and yeah I'm gonna set it with a little bit of you know got to be glue spray and I'm almost ready to throw this bad boy on I can't wait to see it on you guys now in this next clip you'll see my hair and it's been over a week since I've done these curls so it's gonna drop a good bit. So here it is on my head. Here's what the hairline looks like. The only con I would say about this wig is the frontal um, color which I should have went in and tinted it but I did all the other stuff first and I was already ready to put it on so I didn't want to go and ruin the curls by you know doing the lace color and washing the hair but I will be tinting the lace on this because it is like super light it's for like a Caucasian person or somebody in that area so um I do have to work on that I did use a little bit of foundation to bring it a little bit close to my uh, natural skin color but yeah oh and here's my little Nisi poo <laughs> made a little cameo but here it is I was still feeling this hair you guys you can tell I was feeling this hair I love the color I love how dramatic and you know just blue that it is so to try to get a little bit of color back I did go in with a mascara on the edges of my hairline just to make it look a little more natural and I think that brought it out a lot you guys um, yeah, I felt like I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I started this keto diet, so right now it's the beginning stages. I'm gonna sound like I'm tired, I'm gonna sound out of breath. So just bear with me. Your girl is trying to lose 30 pounds on y'all. <laughs> but here we have it. This is what it looks like. This is the final look until I fix that lace color. But for now, this will do. So let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know if you like it. I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of hair porn.
So you made it to the end. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out all my latest videos here. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.